Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How's everybody making out this morning? Just about touching off on 10 a.m. here in New Jersey. Of course, of course, we're in New Jersey. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. I received this last night, but I didn't get a chance to do a video on it. I want to do, I'm going to come back and I want to do an in-depth um video on this piece because when i'm gonna be honest now um a few people have mentioned to me uh in uh chats or in the comments rather i'm sorry that um i should do more um basically just what i said in-depth reviews measurements of the knife take measurements weight weight of the knife now that's one thing i was looking into as far as getting myself a little scale because i was curious about all the time i'm curious about the weights on the knives i could easily go downstairs and use my wife's um, scale that she has in her kitchen but it's ginormous and i uh, you know, as cheap as they are today for a scale, a little open and fold scale to keep on my end table here would be no big deal. But I keep passing it off and I keep getting into other things. And I mean, for the 10 bucks or whatever they are, I didn't even look. I mean, they, they're cheap as dirt. You know what I mean? They're, they All I got to do is look on Amazon and probably a thousand of them will pop up. Um, but anyway, getting back to the comments, a few people were mentioning to me that I should do more, uh, you know, so to speak, in-depth, uh, reviews on these knives. And I totally agree 100%. You know, I'm going to work on that. That's something I have to work on. Um, there's a lot of things I'm trying to work on as far as this channel goes. It's not easy. It doesn't just happen overnight although some would say you should be a professional by now i damn near been in this i've been doing videos for i don't know how how many years i've been on youtube <clears throat> but it obviously shows <clears throat> and i say that because i don't really have that many sus subscribers um as long as i've been on youtube and been doing videos Oh, I should have 10,000 subscribers, you would think. But no, that's not the case. You know, I just touched off on 1,500, which I am very fortunate for. Um, but I should be doing better reviews. That's just the bottom line there. And I'm going to try and work on that. I'm not going to say I'm going to become a professional overnight. But what I am saying is I'm going to try because I'm going to tell you what it is. I know exactly what it is and why I mess up on most of my videos. I'm, I got to have a drink. I'm thirsty. I can't talk right now. Hold on. Mm. Um, I mess up on 90% of my videos. Due to the fact that on the top of my screen, there's a little a little time clock there and it just keeps going. Now, I'm not the type of person that likes to... It's not that I don't like to shoot long videos or lengthy videos. Yeah, I like it. I enjoy it. You know what I mean? But I always think in the back of my head that for the most part, you're wasting your breath after about the first couple of minutes in, five minutes in, whatever it may be, and people are going to click you right off and go on to the next video. Unless you're just sitting there and you're half naked, dancing around the room, half drunk or something, and then that'll probably keep, you know, uh, for the most part, uh, the audience uh, entertained. So unless you're not half drunk running around the house, to keep your audience um, engaged, it's hard. 
it's not easy because I'm, I'll be the first to, to be honest with you. There's many times where I watched partway into the video and it got kind of getting boring and it was decent uh, big channels too. It just happened to be that it was getting a little boring for me and I just clicked it off. For the most part, not again, 90% of the people I think are doing that. You're not watching the video all the way through. Every video you turn on, you watch it all the way through. No, no way. I don't think you are anyway. I don't think you are. Anyway, but after saying that, I, I have to do more in-depth videos. Like after I review a knife, I want to come back and do it again after a few weeks. And that's another thing that I don't do. I never break this knife back out again in a couple weeks like I say I'm going to do after I carried it and reviewed it and say, let's bring it back out again and think, show, tell the audience what we thought of that piece. No, I don't do that. Um, I'm try. I'm going to work on all this stuff. Anyway, uh, just a little insight on that. I'm knocking my little, I'm getting like William's knife life now. I'm knocking my little figurines over my, that's my little, uh, that's my little skulls. Anyway, this is the number 35 pattern. This is the number 35 pattern. It's the cattle knife. And man, I'll tell you what. This is probably, I've had this from last night. This piece here is going to say, as of right now, this is my favorite or my, the best piece that I have purchased as of yet this year. This year. Um, it's a three bit, three bladed equal end, uh, knife. Uh, it comes in the Tidiute form. It's in Tidiute. It's got red ox blood, uh, bone jig, which you can see that. Now I have another knife exactly like this in these covers. And I love, love, love these covers. And I always thought every time I look at that other knife, I always thought, I wonder if they're ever going to come out with another pattern like that again. Because I've got one, but I didn't, I, I wanted to do, and that's another thing. I should have took the time to go in there and dig it out and show you a comparison of that knife. But did I? No. And I will, though. I will. But just look at that ox uh, blood jig. I mean, that is absolutely fascinating covers to me. To me, that's fascinating covers. You've got a three-bladed configuration here. You've got a uh, pen blade, little pen. You've got a small, uh, like, coping-type blade here. A uh, little uh, sheep's foot, if that's what you want to call it. And you've got a nice big spear point blade with a long fuller. My goodness gracious, you've got an etch here. It's stamped right there. Cattle knife. Titty cutlery is stamped on the one side there. Um, brass pins, nickel silver uh, bolsters on both ends. What do we got there? We got carbon as usual on the one side of the um, uh, p uh, knife blade. Great Eastern cutlery on that blade. Did you, uh, or Titusville PA? And there's the number. But just an absolute. This is pro, this is my favorite piece of this year. This is going to be a hard one to beat, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is going to be this is one of those ones that you know uh, it's really going to have to be way up there as far as uh, tickling my fancy. You know what I mean? I've got a lot of beautiful pieces in there. Don't get me wrong, you know. But this just, 
these three bladed configurations on these uh, GEC pieces, uh, these equal end, the size is wonderful. Let's shut the blade. Uh, I don't want anything to really uh, rub and it. Uh, let's pop just the blade open, shall we? Look at that spear blade. Now that gives you a little bit more visual on just concentrating on that one that one blade you know instead of all three of them popped open but man look at that cut swedge up top there look at that cut swedge you've got this beautiful long fuller on this and uh my god in heaven look at the um you've got this beautiful um shield there I love this simplistic shield. It does, it's not really too much. It just says Tidu in it, and it's like a cloud type shield. You know, it's not really all that much, but sometimes I'll tell you, less is more. And in this case, that's 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 what's working here. It just simply says Tidu right there. But the whole thing on this piece that steals the show, that just steals the show, is these covers. It's these covers, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I can't give you... I'm trying to get as close as I can without it fading out. But these covers are just freaking... I didn't want to curb. I'm trying not to curse, and I'm trying to hold my composure. But they are just really, really, really fantastic. Now, I worked out a deal with this guy. Um, I purchased this one on YouTube. On, yeah, YouTube. Oh, my God. Uh, eBay. This, of course, was an eBay purchase, and it was up for a price that I thought that I could work with. And uh, I made the guy an offer. It was up for offer, and I shot the price to him. Now, I don't get real out of control. He came back at me with a certain number, and I came back at him, and it, it, it kind of worked out. It washed its way out in the end, and I was satisfied with uh, this piece here, the quality. I mean, you have to understand the kind of knife you are dealing with here. You really do. Um, and they don't come cheap. I mean, I, I'm not going to mention any names. Um, it's about... Like a very, very good friend of mine once told me, it's about the hustle with GEC knives. And I'll never forget the comment he made. He said, it's about the hustle. And when you do, and when you do land that piece, when you do land that piece, it makes it just that much more special. And my God, that statement couldn't be more correct couldn't be more correct than that because it truly is the hustle. It truly is like the hustle trying to score these knives, trying to acquire them, putting the money out, trying to get your best, the best money, you know, the cheapest price for these knives because they, they bring a high, very high premium. They bring a very high premium, and everybody's out there trying to inflate. If you got them off the uh, drop, they are inflating these knives almost double, and a lot of t a lot of times triple. They people are on here tripling their money on these knives. That is how much in demand they are. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you right now. They're tripling their money and they're putting this their the money up on these knives because people are paying that that price hands down. They are not arguing the fact, they are not disputing it. They know what they are getting. So people are just shelling them out. Shelling these knives out. And they know 
they know that you're going to pay it, and they know that you're getting a premium piece of cutlery. You, they know that. They know that. Um, as far as I'm concerned, and I've got no reason to, um, I've got no reason to lie or anything or, or, or say anything, but what I will say is this, everybody has an opinion. Everybody has a opinion on not everything in this world, everything in this world, but I'm going to tell you this right now. And I, I'm, I'm just going to make a bold statement. I'm just going to make a bold statement. These GEC knives, these GEC knives, which you are looking at, I'll give you a good close-up right here, are hands down. I'll take it one step further. These are hands down the absolute best pieces of cutlery and knives you can buy in the world. There's no pieces of cutlery, there's no knives out there that fit and finish wise, everything else that is better than a GEC piece of cutlery. That's just my opinion. That's I stick by that wholeheartedly. I stick by that wholeheartedly. They are fantastic pieces of cutlery, man. I mean, if you really, if you dive into these pieces, like, I, you know, me, I, I'm pretty deep into it. I mean, if you really dive into them, uh, you will, you will quickly see what I'm saying. I mean, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying. Look at this back spine. Look at that back spine. I mean, this one's all steel. This one does not have any uh, brass liners in it. That's a nice welcome once in a while. That's a nice welcome. I, I'm kind of enjoying that a lot. Anyway. That's just about it for this one, guys. I'm going to stick this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and figure out would slip I could stick this puppy in and get this right in the pocket because this is just a this is this is my favorite piece so far this year this is my favorite piece so far um out of all the pieces of cutlery I purchased to date this piece right here what a piece of cutlery man what a freaking Hell of a piece of cutlery this is. Once again, and I'm still building on that. Um, my, uh, I have to build the, uh, something for my uh, pins. Because I saw something online where everybody stuck the pins in a, a glass uh, case. And it looked beautiful. I'm going to hang it on the wall. So that says cattle knife right there which always, always, always a pleasure getting a pin. I love the pins when I get a pin with a knife. It's just a little something extra, and I'll take it. Love it. Love it, love it. Guys, be good, be well, be safe. It's going to be another over 100-degree day today in New Jersey. I don't know where you guys are at, but... We're, we're over 100 de uh, degrees today, and um, yeah, guys, so uh, I just wanted to get this one out there. Be good, be well, be safe. Please drop me a comment if you can, and also please thumbs, uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down because that does help with the channel. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Then we're really getting it. But uh, either way, uh, it's being acknowledged a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care. But uh, if you can, just please give me a comment. Let me know where I'm at with the channel. Let me know where I'm, what, what, what I'm doing here. All right, guys. Uh, last look at this piece here. Look at this jigging. 
All right, guys. Uh, stay well. Stay cool. And we'll talk to you soon. Be well.